Yeah, we'll start over, yeah. Okay. So, uh, here we are. Back again. Talking more drums and percussion. And uh, we are with uh, my former teacher, Mr. Daryl, you know, man, Wiseman, here to talk to, to you guys again about some more drums and percussion. So, hear ye him. Take it away. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Yes, sir. Mr. Reverend, Mr. Reverend Martin Taylor. Oh, man, go ahead, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, and by the way, he is a reverend, okay? So, I'm a minister, but not a reverend. Yeah, I'm a minister. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I would like to introduce you to a drum called the snare drum. Um, this drum is probably one of the most important drums of all time. Uh, it's just the history of drumming. Uh, one of the most important, uh, especially uh, uh, European drumming uh, or marching band. Uh, you probably see they have different sized snare drums. This is called the snare drum. It gets its name from these wires, stems of wires. Called uh, and they're called the snares, snares. That's where the, and they're fastened onto the drum, on this side or on and directly from the opposite uh, side. Uh, what you can see is 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 used. You can use shoe string or whatever you can use to strap it onto the drum. Okay, it's called snare. This is where the drum gets its name, snare drum. So. Um, it has two hands on it and a shell. What you see is a shell. Some of them are made out of wood. This one is made out of metal. It's called a chrome snare, chrome plated snare drum. It's by a, a company called Pearl. It's, it's, it's actually on, the, on here, I see it's, it's actually a steel shell. I didn't know that. I thought it was chrome. It's steel, st a steel shell. Uh, made by Pearl, which is a very, very good drum company. It has two heads on it, and what you see that fastens them down are what we call lugs. I will show you which one. I'll show you what one looks like. Is that L U G S lugs? Yes. Lugs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, has a little washer. It has a little washer, and it's a little, uh, like a screw that, that you use a key, a drum, this is called a drum key. It's a drum key, you use a drum key to to uh, take the, to tighten and loosen the drum. What these lugs do is cause the timbre of the drum. They cause it to either be a low, a low timbre or a high timbre, a low sound, Another name for tab is sound, a low sound or a high sound. And what you do, what I do, what, what I do is basically just take these lugs, I'm not going to do it now, but take these lugs, these keys, and I loose them all the way. Bring the, bring the, uh, bring the, uh, the uh, lug out so that I can remove the rim of the drum, which there's a head that fastens on to the drum, and the rim keeps the head down. The lugs are the ones to tighten up. It keeps the, lug, the head down on the drum. The tighter the head, the more snare your sound, the, um, the more tighter the snare sound will be. The looser the head, the more sound from the snares you're gonna hear. I will, I will introduce you that, I will do that for you on our next lesson. So it has two heads, a batter head, which is the head that the, that the musician plays on, and then there's another head, the bottom, I'll just call it the bottom head, or the snare head, which is, which, which is uh, uh, underneath the snares. The snares are not in the drum, the snares are on the outside of the drum. Okay, so that's where it gets its name. Let me show you what I'm talking about just real quick, if I can. Might not be able to do it now because I've loosened all everything up. I can't do it. I loosen it up. I do it to the left of the room. <laughs> Anyways, we're done. Mm.